Another day, another video drop from Life by You. Relatively recently, Life by You released a video on how to manage households, and today I want to dive right into it and share my analysis. My name is Michael, and welcome back to Sovereign Game. We got another exciting video to watch straight from Life by You, and I want to take the time to really focus on the gameplay with households. So let's begin and watch the trailer and speculate. People have pointed this out before, that the body shape choices in the far left hand menu look a little limited. I think that this is due to the fact that we are in the household creator and not the human creator, where we have seen more sliders for human creation. But let's continue watching. All right, so this whole time I've been asking questions about world management, and it's just so crappy that the world is actually blurred. But no matter, I get it, it's not a complete game. I hope that this isn't the size of the map, because it does look pretty small if this is the only playing area we will get. I get it, this is still like early access release, and the world is likely not complete yet, and it'll likely be more complete when early access goes live in September, but I just kind of wanted to get that off my chest. So you remember that whole barkeep story that I keep bringing up from Rod Humble on my channel? Well, if we count the businesses on the Main Street area, it looks like there are six businesses. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but if each of those businesses require three humans to run it, then you would need 18 humans. And if we count up the houses, there are eight houses, and therefore two teen to adult humans could live comfortably in each house. That is just an assumption, and I just wanted to note that. So in this case, it works for this town, because if you assume that each house has two humans aged from teen to elder living in them, and that each business requires three humans to run it, but I have to question, like, what is the likelihood that this world has more than enough houses required for the community lots to function? I feel like we were shown a balanced world already, which gives me hope that managing populations on a macro scale was considered during the development of Life Bite. Also, I want to point out that the six businesses could likely still hire more Life Bite humans. I was only assuming that they needed three humans to run a fully functioning business. And I also wanted to point out that it looks like each house only has five slots for humans. And I just wanted to remind you that Life by You has already confirmed that you can have more than five humans in your house. It looks like Life by You is confirming that boutique hotels will come in the early access version. A couple of weeks ago, I did ask 
the video game developers themselves on a YouTube video about this kind of a function. And they actually did confirm that the boutique hotels and the guests that stay with them will actually be unhoused life by you humans. So I just thought that that was interesting and I wanted to point it out. But let's continue watching. Being able to jump between multiple households at the same time is definitely a game changer. Gone are the days where you need a loading screen in between switching to different households. I think that this feature will really allow us a lot of freedom. And when I think about concepts like apartment living, this feature would actually make it super easy to just switch between households. Now remember, apartment or multi-housing lots haven't been confirmed in Life by You yet, or ever, <laughs> we'll see. But these capabilities to switch households on the fly will really go to help make it that much more easier if and when Life by You decides to implement this feature of apartment living. I'm hoping that it will be released in the base game for those pesky population management gameplay aspects I've been talking about this whole time, but I digress. Even if apartments don't make it into the base game, Paradox and the team have set themselves up an excellent foundation to grow their franchise from and to make those features easily accessible. It was a lesson that EA most definitely missed during the development of The Sims 4. All in all, I feel that household management is very easy to accomplish in the game as it is being shown to us. I know that, at least in The Sims 3, it can get complicated if you're moving Sims around. So to me, this looks like they really put a lot of time and effort into making household management an easy task to accomplish as you edit your worlds. But I want to hear what you have to think. What aspects of this video has got you the most excited? Do you think that easily managing households will add to your playing experience? What do you think of being able to add cars and jobs directly into the household creator tool? How will you plan to use the Household Creator tool as we know it today? So until next time, I just want to thank you again for watching, and I hope you have yourself a wonderful day.